Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do an updated video showing you how to, the latest method to unroot and unbrick your Samsung Epic 4G, whether you're having problems with it, any issues whatsoever, need to take it back to Sprint for warranty reasons, or you just want to go back to stock, this will be the latest method to do so. First of all, you're going to need to make sure um, to check whether you are on a ROM with MTD or BML. ROMs like CM7, MIUI, um, any ice cream sandwich ROM, any Android ROM, it's going to be MTD. And then any TouchWiz ROM is going to be BML. So keep that in mind. You need to make sure you know whether your ROM is MTD or BML, depending on, because there'll be one little step that's going to be different to unroot your device. So if you're on the latest CM7 ROM or MIUI ROM, you will be on MTD. Uh, but otherwise, um, you, if you're on a touch with ROM, you'll be on BML. But once you uh, know it, that uh, you're on the latest, go ahead and power off your device. So I'm going to go ahead and power it on off. I'm on a touch with ROM, in case you're wondering not. Uh, so I, I, I do have BML. Anyways, click on the link in the description of the video. First of all, you're going to need to make sure you have the drivers downloaded. So make sure you download and install the drivers here. You're also going to need to make sure you have uh, the latest version of Odin 1.85. Download it here. And then you're also going to need to download these two files. The uh, ECO5 tar, which is the latest uh, tar we have. We don't have an EI22 gingerbread tar yet. There's no uh, sign of it coming soon. So I'm definitely saying go back to ECO5 and then uh, update to EI22. But anyways, you got the uh, tar, the PIT, Odin and drivers. So once you have drivers installed, you got Odin downloaded, you got uh, the Victory PIT and the ECO5 TAR, you're ready to go. With the Odin download, it will be inside a zip file. You'll need to make sure you have either 7-zip, WinZip, or WinRAR to uh, extract it. When you extract it, just make sure you have these uh, two files, the Odin um, configuration file and the Odin itself, the EXE file. Um, this will be a configuration file. This will be the Odin file. You just need to make sure both of those are in a folder together. Uh, otherwise, it won't run properly. So just a heads up there, but Odin is the only thing you're extracting. No need to uh, extract the PIT file or the, um, or the TAR. So make sure you leave those as is. But once you uh, have those, you're ready to go. I'm actually going to recommend something else. You need to... I would highly recommend not using the stock Samsung cable. I find BlackBerry cables work the best. This HTC cable has worked just fine for me as well. So keep that in mind. Stock Samsung cables are terrible build quality, so I highly recommend getting rid of it. Um, if you do have any other problems, make, take out the U, uh, micro USB. Uh, not micro USB. Take out the, uh, yeah, the micro SD. Sorry, micro SD card. Take that out and use Odin, I'll recommend just doing that anyways. Just take it out. Um, you can also try it with the battery out. Uh, try it with the battery out, plug it in, then get into download mode. Uh, try different USB cables, USB, USB ports. Try reinstalling drivers. Uh, so those are the troubleshooting methods if you have problems with Odin. Anyways, uh, to get into download mode, you're gonna need to press and hold the one button and power button at the same time. So press and hold both of those should take you into uh, download mode. And there you go. So as you can see, download mode, downloading. Do not turn off target. So once uh, you're in download mode, go back to your PC and open up Odin. So just double click on Odin and hit yes. And it should open up Odin. So it should look something like this. As long as it says Odin 1.85 up at the top, you're ready to go. Um, go ahead and plug in your Epic 4G into your PC. So plug it on in, and then let drivers install. And once they're done installing, it should open up. It should pop up a yellow box. It should say COM and then a number. It doesn't matter what the number is. It'll be different for everyone. But as you can see, a yellow box that should say COM. That means Odin is recognizing your device while it's in download mode. And now go over here. Go to the PIT box. Press it. 
and then navigate to wherever that uh, Victory PIT is that you downloaded. Mine will be in my Android folder that I have. And there it is. So as you can see, I got the Victory PIT. So double click on that. Make sure that is in the PIT box right there. Now press the PDA box and then navigate to wherever that EC05 tar is. Mine is in my Epic folder. So as you can see, double click on the ECO5 TAR and it automatically checks the box next to PDA. So you got the Victory PIT there and you got the ECO5 TAR there. Now, this is the uh, big part with BML and MTD, so pay attention. Um, no matter what, you're uh, gonna wanna uncheck F reset time. So uncheck that no matter what. Now. If you are on an MTD ROM, such as CM7, MIUI, you're gonna need to leave repartition checked. So make sure you leave repartition checked if you're on a CM7 or uh, just a AOSP ROM. If you are on a TouchWiz ROM, you need to uncheck repartition. Make sure you pay attention to this. Uncheck repartition if you are on a TouchWiz BML ROM. So as I said, it's very important to know which uh, version you're on. Anyways, uh, that is that is it. I'm on a TouchWiz ROM, so I'm only leaving auto reboot checked. But if you were on CM, the latest CM7, the latest MIUI, you're gonna need to check repartition. So keep that in mind. I'm only leaving auto reboot checked. So auto reboot checked for me. ECO5 TAR, Victory PIT, Combox. You're ready to go. Odin's ready. I'm going to just hit start. And it should set everything up. As I said, if you have any problems, use the troubleshooting steps I uh, mentioned earlier. Main one is being the cable. And it's gonna run through. It's gonna bring up a progress bar actually on my Epic 4G. So you'll see a little progress bar going. It'll have a green progress bar on Odin. It'll let you know what it's doing in the bottom left box. Um, it will take a little while. It should take maybe around three minutes. If it's taking more than seven minutes, something definitely went wrong. Or taking more than ten minutes. Definitely going to need to restart and try again. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go. Let this run through and I'll be back once it's uh, almost done. Alright, so as you can see it's just finishing up. You got the progress bar almost at the end. Uh, the green bar is just flashing the modem, finishing on up. And there you go. So as you can see, it's finished. It said reset. It should reboot my Epic 4 Jesus Pass. Mine took two minutes and 50 seconds. So I'll give you a little time frame of that. And it should reboot. And once it reboots, I should be back to completely stock ECO5 Android 2.2 on my Epic 4G. So once it reboots, I will show you that. Okay, now that my Epic 4G has booted back up, I'm back to stop. That's it. I am ready to go. Bring it back to Sprint, whatever warranty reasons. I'm going to go to Settings, About Phone, and as you can see, build number Froyo EC05 right there. So I'm on EC05, which is Android version 2.2. Um, if you do want to update to EI22, the latest stock, gingerbread version. I will post a link to that video in the description so it will just update you to the latest gingerbread stock. Um, so in case you want to do that, I'll link to that video. But that's about it. You're completely back to stock whether you were on BML or MTD. If you are, were on an MTD ROM, you have to do this if you want to flash a TouchWiz ROM. So if you're on CM7, you need to Odin back to stock before you can flash a TouchWiz ROM. You cannot just uh, go from an MTD ROM to a BML ROM. You have to Odin back to stock and then reroute and then flash a TouchWiz ROM that's on BML. So that is uh, my little spiel for the day. You need to, uh, if you so choose, you can feel free to watch my video on MTD and BMLs, give you some more information about it. Uh, I highly recommend watching that if you have not watched it yet. But that's about it. That's how you unroot or unbrick your Samsung Epic 4G using Odin. Definitely uh, something to do. Um, use if for any reason your phone breaks or you just want to go back to stock and that's about it be sure to subscribe to me for future videos follow me on facebook twitter and google plus all links will be in the description of the video and as always thank you for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up